guest stand-up this evening is one of my absolute favourites. She co-hosts the, the breakfast show on Triple R in Melbourne and her new show, Plucky, is coming to the 2018 Melbourne Comedy Festival at the end of this month. Would you please go crazy for Geraldine Hickey! Yay! Oh, my God. Thank you. Hello. Uh, here's the thing. I, I think there are two types of people in this world. Those that are fine with nudity. You know, they're the ones that are like, oh, we've all got bits, oh, not that I haven't seen before. It's just natural, right? And then there are those that refer to being naked as Rudy Nudie. Um, <laughs> I am of the Rudy Nudie variety. Is anyone else of the Rudy Nudie variety? Yes, there's a couple. Uh, and is, yeah, sure, I have body issues. I have body issues. Had them since I was a teenager. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to use, um, I had three towels to dry myself. Like one would be wrapped around me, one for my hair, had long hair, right? And then the other one would be for drying, right? Um, I just would be completely covered the whole time. That was the point, right? And I, I did that because I convinced myself that the bathroom mirror was a two way mirror. Um, who was watching? God. <laughs> God is watching us from a distance. Where's that distance? It's from me to the bathroom mirror. Um, so I would, and also, please don't feel sorry for me as well, but when I was a teenager, um, I did, um, I got stretch marks, except I didn't know that they were stretch marks. I thought I had a demon inside me that was trying to <laughs> claw its way out. Um, don't feel sorry for me. Um, okay, maybe feel a little bit sorry for me because that's, that's, that's a bit weird. Uh, so here's the thing. I am trying to overcome my fears of nudity, right? And I do that by trying to – anyway, I'm just going to – I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, no, I – I went to a Japanese bathhouse though, um, and I don't know if you've ever been to one before, um, but I recommend it to go to an onsen. It's beautiful and relaxing, but basically you go in and you sit on a tiny little plastic stool and you have a little shower, have a nice scrub, and then you hot in a, hop in a big hot tub and soak and relax, right? It's, it's beautiful. I love it, right? But when you're in there, you, no clothes, Everybody naked. Nobody's, nobody wears anything um, and it's public, right? So you're in there with other people and you see their bits, I guess, right? But here's the thing. When I went, I thought – for me, it was just trying to get used to being naked in a public space. I didn't think anyone was going to be there. I thought I'll go on a Monday afternoon. Everyone's at work. No one's going to a Japanese bathhouse in the middle of a day on a Monday. Turns out that's fucking happy hour, right? <laughs> And everyone is there with a mate. Who takes it? I'm the only one there on my own. Why are you taking a mate? How can you talk? How can you gossip in the nude? Like, oh, you can't concentrate. That's for me. That's just eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Like, I can't. Anyway, it's fine. I went in there and, um, yeah, got naked, did it. Just took my clothes off and went, oh, here we go, right? And then I sat down on the little plastic stool and I'm, I'm trying to get the taps to work, right? And Because I, I could turn the tap on, but water was coming out of the tap bit and I wanted it to come out of the shower head bit, but it was just coming out of the tap bit. And I don't know if you've been in a situation where you know something's really simple to work out, but you can't ask anybody because you're going to look like an idiot, right? <laughs> like, for example, when you're trying to work out how to open the boot of a fancy car, you know, like when you just had, where is the, where is the button for this? Where... <laughs> And I know that looks like something else. <laughs> Grow up, right? And then someone comes along and goes, oh, yeah, you just have to wave your hand underneath it like that. I'm like, oh, fuck off. That is not simple, right? <laughs> so I don't know if you've been in that situation, but imagine that, but you're completely naked, right? <laughs> and sitting on this tiny little stool. No one, could, no one looks good like that. Like, no one, like that. Like, I look like a piano accordion, right? <laughs> and also... They're always a little bit lower than you'd expect, so I sound like a piano accordion as I'm sitting down, just... <laughs> and I'm there, and I'm just trying to get the bloody taps to work, and I'm just, I just want it... I've turned it off, and I've turned it back on again. That does nothing, right? And then I have to turn around and go, sorry, um, you've got great boobs. Uh, can you can you please show me how this works? And then it's just... 
oh, you just have to turn that. I'm like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Your perfect body. Get out of here. Huh? But it's fine. I Like I scrubbed. And then by the time um, I, I'd finished that and I, I got in the tub, everyone else had gone. Like I was the only one in there. Um, so I fully got to relax, just floating in this bath. It was, oh, my God, it was so wonderful. I loved it. Like my boobs floated. <laughs> like that's never happened. <laughs> Like, normally when I get in the bath, it's like my boobs just flop to the side. But here they were just... Like like a couple of wontons in soup. Just... Like a a couple of novelty helium balloons at a sex party. And I'm like, whoa, check this out. Oh... This is why you bring your friend to the Japanese bathhouse. Um, thanks very much, everybody. Thank you. Johnny, thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Th